Hi, um, I'm Annabelle and I'm going to be presenting my music passion or project, project passion today. So, music goes way back into the years when the first fleet happened with Mr. Cook, I mean Captain Cook. Um, so when Captain Cook came and brought people over who like became cops and stuff, um, music started. So pentatonic, which people in my class have learned about in music, was one that went way back into like the like second fleet. Um, so what happened was it was this man and he was writing on a piece of paper, he was looking out to the ocean. This was when World War One was happening. So I don't know if it was the first fleet or the second fleet, but World War One was happening in Germany, I think. So um, he was there and he was looking out the thing and he was drawing a picture of it, like so he could paint it and put it up on his wall. And then he thought of something because he heard some like seagulls and stuff, and he thought of something that might be really good to make a musical um, chord. So he put he named it a pentatonic. So every fourth and seventh note goes, you leave that out. And pentatonic, if you have like an A pentatonic, like C pentatonic, it can fit with any other music. So just so you had a C pentatonic, you go C, D, E, and when you get to F, you cut F out. Then you go G, A, B, and you cut B out because it's seventh note. Um, I'll show you how music can easily be created. Now, I'm guessing it was something really simple and then somebody's made an instrument out of it, out of wood or something. But I've just got one piece of paper here and I'm like, I can just go like this and that would count as music because you're making a rhythm. So if you were going. That is rhythm that could create music. I also have a plain TV remote. Now like you can tap a TV remote on your hand so. So music can be created very, very easily. Now, um, you can go to Pentatonics to check out. They sing lots of songs. Um, also, yeah, it'd be good to like learn an instrument. With instruments, you have many of them go back way into the when instruments were first invented, and they were really old and terrible. And they've made new more models, like really good ones. So, like with a piano, I don't mm, Oliver, what's an old piano called? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, it was one of those really, really old pianos from the olden days. They've turned a bunch of pianos way better. Pedals, uh, keyboards. They've made grand pianos. They've made baby grand pianos. They've made pianos. They've made heaps out of one old instrument. Um. Yes, music is, it soothes the mind, it, so when you listen to music, especially like old classical music, or boring music, uh, your mind just relaxes and calms you down and it releases everything. So if you were to play a type of music that gives you, like, really, it's an upbeat song, like, so really, yay, um, it clear your mind off the bad stuff and it, you get, like, really into the beat. You'll notice, you probably won't notice it by yourself, but what people do a lot is they'll tap with the rhythm. So whether you're driving a car, be on the steering wheel, or just on the bench or anything, which I tap on basically everything I can see. Um, they'll play, and they'll play the beat and how the song goes, or the words to it. Um, obviously you guys know on the stave, there would be the lines for a treble clef. So there are treble clefs and bass clef. A treble clef is right hand, a bass clef is left hand. With a treble clef, um, we're going on right hand. On right hand, you'd have the five lines and they would be every good boy deserves fruit or every good boy deserves football or anything that ends in an F. Um, and if each letter that starts, so each starting letter of those words fit into it. So every good boy deserves fruit. So every 
would go at the very bottom line. Good boy deserves fruit. In the middle, you have face. So F-A-C-E for the spaces. So face and the spaces. Face clef, you have good boys deserve fruit always in that thing. And then you have all cows eat grass. So it mixes it around because obviously you're playing backwards on your left hand if you were doing it right-handed. Um, that's about it. It gives you a, a little bit of information about music and when it was first created. Thank you.